Good morning, ESM. Hey, Uncle Richie here. It's Fist Pump Friday. Yes, it's hard to believe it's here. Hey, did you enjoy that snow day yesterday? Lord knows I did. Woo, that was nice. Thank you, Dr. D. Hey, moving on, uh, Spartan Pride. We're recognizing kids that are nominated by their teachers who showed professionalism, respect, involvement, diversity, and excellence. And uh, you too can get on this list. Just keep up that Spartan Pride, okay? Our winners uh, for this, we have Rob Holloway, nominated by Miss Carucci. Woo! Hey, we got Elijah Johnson, nominated by Miss, Mrs. Fulner. Woo! Hey, we got Parker Hiltz, nominated by Mrs. Hillowa. Woo! Hey, we got Luke Tumulti, uh, nominated by Mr. Brandon. Woo! We got Jace Dor Dor Damares, uh, nominated by Senora Brooks. Woo! Spartan quarter winners. Teachers are asked to nominate students who exemplify all aspects of Spartan pride. Ninth grade, Ramir Richmond, nominated by Mr. Richmond. Yeah, no, it's not fixed. Okay. Hey, tenth grade, we got Liv Goff, nominated by Mrs. Mitica. Woo! With eleventh grade, Todd, Todd Darantini, nominated by Mr. Ferris. Woo! Twelfth grade, Olivia Grabowski, nominated by Mrs. Corbett. Woo! Mrs. Baker is passing on the Spartan Teacher Trophy to Mrs. DeBurgess and Mr. Davis. Congratulations. Thank you for all your involvement. And the ESM community, have a great weekend. Richie loves you. Good morning, ESM. Uh, we're back on another Friday, and we really do hope you did enjoy your snow day. But first, let's take it to Bennett. Yesterday, Moderna's coronavirus vaccine moved closer to authorization, a step that would broaden the vaccination campaign to rural areas and more hospitals. A panel of independent experts recommended the FDA authorize the vaccine for emergency use. The final decision, which is expected today, would pave the way for about 5.9 million doses to be shipped across the country beginning this weekend. A company that developed the water purification system on the ISS is now working on technologies with the potential to be used in places suffering from droughts or lack of water in general. The Danish company Aquaporin has developed technology that filters liquids through the use of proteins called aquaporins in a process similar to the kidneys and plants. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. And to the republic for which it stands. One nation under God. Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Uh, yeah, so there's a huge storm yesterday, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure New York City got hit a lot. There's, you know, a lot of snow out as of this morning, so we're going to take it to Nicole with our weather. Thursday morning, Binghamton broke records with a record snowfall of 41 inches. Binghamton's previous two-day snowfall record was 35.3 inches, set in March of 2017. Today, the skies will be clear and mostly dry, continuing to be mainly cold and cloudy with highs in the late 20s. Saturday will be breezy with increasing clouds slowly warming up a bit with highs in the mid-30s. Sunday has a chance of snow possibly mixed with rain with a high near 37. Monday will be breezy and warmer with a bit of rain and snow developing towards sunset with highs around 40. Tuesday will be windy and cold with some lake effect snow showers during the day with highs in the mid to upper 30s. And Monday and Tuesday will both have a chance for rain and snow with highs near 40. I'm Nicole with your weather.
Syracuse women's basketball lost a game yesterday against North Carolina. Final score, 68-92. to There will be a game, a men's basketball game at 6 p.m. against Buffalo tomorrow. Sunday there will be a women's basketball game at Boston at 2. Last night in the NFL, the Los Angeles Chargers beat the Las Vegas Raiders 30-27 to in overtime. Rookie Justin Herbert went 22 of 32 for 314 yards and had two touchdowns as well as the game-winning rushing touchdown. During the first half, Derek Carr was injured and re was replaced by Marcus Mariota as he went for 17 of 28 for 226 yards and one touchdown, as well as a rushing touchdown. But what caused the bad luck for the Raiders was the fact that head coach John Gruen wore the wrong hat in the first half as it said Oakland Raiders pre where the team was previously located. Some under the radar wire pickups for your fantasy team this week includes Eagles quarterback Jalen Hurts, Bills wide receiver Gabriel Davis, and Bears tight end Cole Kemen. I'm Tanner with your sports. From everybody here at uh, Spartan News, we'd wish you a great weekend. Go, you know, have some fun. And we'll see you later.